Antonio, Texas, as we bring you an interconference rivalry here at the AT&T Center. We welcome you this Thursday evening. Hoping you're having a good one and are as excited as we are for this one. Mark Kellogg and Steve Kerr joining me in the booth. Good evening, everyone. This is Kevin Hart. And now we take a brief check at the mansion. Our starting five for both teams. One of the guys we'll be watching out for today, Tristan Thompson. Well, he's someone who can just demolish you on the glass. And that's really his goal when he goes into the game. He is looking to dominate the paint. You know, that's exactly right. And what also comes to mind with him is his persistence on the offensive board. His second chance points always add up. Cleveland is working their way through a road trip going into today's game. Well, they are on top of their game right now. And guys on top of the league, the best record in both conferences. Well, I think for Cleveland, they've had such a tremendous regular season. I mean, really exceeding even the most optimistic projections. Uh, a bit of a surprise, actually. And with the playoffs right around the fit, their style. So not really flashy, not really gaudy. But it does point out their business-like approach. And how precise they play and how much they win. Two shots. And you look at the Spurs' lack of branding, if you will. It starts from the top down, from Coach Popovich to Tim Duncan. They don't court media attention. They're close to the vest. All business, all about winning. And the Spurs look for a certain kind of player, Clark. I know you're interested in this. The players they get are uninterested in the spotlight. Pop calls them guys that have gotten over themselves. That's a great way to phrase it because they're others focused and not self-focused. And that's something that really lends itself well in a culture which glamorizes the eye and not the group. And you can see it in the Spurs. They are all about business. And all of the extra stuff is not what appeals to them. They're interested in winning and having fun and enjoying each other. And that's why they're a championship organization and team. That's a good blueprint. Yes, it is. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Well, and of course, we'd all like to see that free throw percentage improve. I mean, he does not have the touch in the 60s. I think it's been a disappointing year for him at the stripe, guys. I mean, he hasn't been as productive as he was last season. From there. The basket counts and one. Losing the finger roll. Tony Parker, I don't think there's any question the best player ever to come out of France. In fact, back in the summer of 2013, he led France to the... This time another foul shot clanked off the rim. They were letting him hear about that. And the shot is good. How many times have we seen him do that? Just batter a defense with his ability to explode to the back. Doris? Team rebounding is something he stressed to his side, and rightfully so when you face a player that gobbles up the glass like Kevin Love. He told me that Love rebounds at an unreal rate, and his side can't take any mental breaks when it comes to boxing out on the defensive end. Love's numbers validate that fear, guys. And thanks for that story, Doris. Knocked away and stolen by Kyrie Irving. Makes the lead pass and finished off by Shumpert. Guys, that's simply superb. Ball pressure, a run out, and then a dunk in transfer. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. And Kevin Love, the bucket with the assist by Irving. Love's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. San Antonio trailing here. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Raptors. And Kevin, they would have had to be sensational defensively to compensate for their lack of offense in that game. Yeah, and you know what, Steve? I don't think they're built to play those kind of low-scoring, grinded-out games. They weren't that time, at least. Leonard dishes to Diaw, launches it, and that is good. Diaw's got... It's getting late in the season. Let's now see the standings out east. A look at Chicago. They've continued to play strong basketball, if not utterly dominant, as the last part of this. Real trendsetters as far as international scouts. Spurs making a switch here. Splitters checked in. He always knows where his teammate's going to be, and Kevin that will let him put the ball where he wants. Right at the 50% mark. Green inside the three-point lock. Shumpert passes to Love. Nailed from three-point land. Love's got six points. That's tributes of speed and quickness and elusiveness. I think the elusiveness can hang around for a while. The speed will go. But the fact he's improved as a jump shooter, I think he will continue to... Tell you what, guys, he's an extremely strong finisher. I'm surprised he wasn't able to power that through the defense. Rising high to throw that one down. Sky high, fantastic one-hand jam. Yeah, what a way to wrap up that possession. 
Cavaliers shooting 40% here in the early stages. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. And guys, let's get your take on the hustle stats for the Cavaliers. Now they're trying to play fast and trying to put the defense on their heels. They've gotten their fair share. Ellen Ellen. And stolen by Kyrie Irving. Marion kicks to Irving. Rips down the breakaway slam. Mark some serious agility coming out of the backcourt. You know, that bucket might count for a little more than two points. Complain about it or let it affect his performance. And it's Smith penetrating. That drops. Yes. Mills with it. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Dishes it to Bellinelli. And the three ball is good. You might not think of him as a laser three-point shooter, but that shot was there for him, and he had to take it. An indication there of why the scoreboard looks like it does. Very passive defense. But the finish was anything but passive. No, he hammered that down. Makes no mistake on the open jump shot on the glass here. Yeah, and that's due to their physical play. They're scrapping and clawing for each and every rebound out there. For San Antonio, they have gone four of six so far from the line, missing a couple. Well, I tell you what, Kyle Anderson out of UCLA is one of the most productive and most unique players in the 2000 plays. He's a 6'9 point forward, excellent rebounder, passes at a very high level. He sees things to or to look at some of the point guards who have been doing a whole lot more than passing lately. They're the top scorers at that position over the last 10 games. Cut straight and be a maestro for his teammates first and foremost, but it's a huge bonus when he... So the first quarter wraps up with some nice defense in this one. Cavaliers lead by five. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. And we welcome you back to start the quarter. Players had a chance to get hydrated with Gatorade. And there's certain to be some great basketball ahead for us. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, what's your take? I'll tell you what, I like what I've seen from this club defensively. They're forcing a lot of turnovers with their quick hands and ability to play the passing lane. Well, you talk about quick hands, but I think it's the mindset of being aggressive and then... Hills with it. He's picked up by Irving. And Green gets it to go. Perfect. Hi, Doris. Gentlemen, we all know that Manu Ginobili has had a terrific career playing mostly as a sixth man. Ginobili said, I don't think it was a big sacrifice. Maybe at first it was a little painful on the ego, but when I got in, all the plays were for me. I started to feel confident in that role. Now I enjoy it, and I don't even want to start. Kevin? Doris, he puts pragmatism over ego. Thank you. Myth outside. Tires from deep. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's second quarter, we're a little over a minute and a half in. Duncan. And that basket is going to count. Goaltending the official call. He got there late, but you do it. Kicks to Smith. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Well, J.R. Smith, a guy who can take your breath away with his talent one moment and then exasperate you the next. Unbelievable talent, but he can be erratic offensively, especially with his shot selection. J.R. Smith hits them both. And what is this thinking about here? This game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding is one thing that they've been able to, to dominate. Yeah, they've chased down that pumpkin off. Mills can't hit. Cavaliers have gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Perkins kicks to Smith. Back to Perkins. Stolen away. And now it's Green running. He can go all the way. The big dunk at the end of the break. Terrible transition defense there. I think it would have been pointless, Steve. There was no way anybody was beating him to the basket there. Here's Irving. Drains the 19-footer. Irving to get a break in the action, so let's take a look at the West and how the teams are stacking up. You take a look at the Thunder. What a run they've had this year in first place in charging. They're a team that typically figures it out as the season goes on. And granted, it's hard to stay at the very top of the standings. But, you know, the playoffs, 
Shot clock at six. And he banks him away. Leonard's got five for, the, for him tonight. And Parker, here we go. That gives them the lead. And it's Amon Jumpert in for J.R. Smith. And Leonard gets it to go. That's expected of their position, but where you separate yourself is going after rebounds. And there's Shumpert. That's good on the assist by LeBron. LeBron's got four assists in the game. What do you have? Well, Kevin, Spurs coach Greg Popovich is so highly respected by his peers. Thunder coach Scott Brooks said there are three things you can count on. Death, taxes, and Pop winning 50 games. Dallas coach Rick Carlisle called him, quote, the best coach in any sport ever and the smartest man in the history of the world. Kevin, he wasn't joking. High praise indeed. Thank you, Doris. And yes, sir, that one dropped. In transition, here come the Cavaliers. And LeBron throws it down hard. Clarky talked about a back-and-forth game. This is the definition of yeah, that. Yeah, no doubt about it, Kevin. I mean, not even through the... This side's very competitive. On their toes tonight. And he's shaking off a poor first quarter. Rain. Stolen by Thompson. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal. Active to Parker. Oh! That's foul number two on him. They might not warrant sitting in entirely, but uh, you know, another one before halftime, they could... They could be in some trouble. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And he's putting together a solid year at the free throw line. With his... He's done. They'll be off to Orlando, and they'll take on the Magic. In the midst of a four-game road trip right now. That'll be game number three. And four for eight. Outside jump. Got it off in time. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. Tie game in San Antonio. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. Well, both sides have assessed what they need to do over the break in halftime. We'll see now if one can pull out a way here in the third. Talk about some great numbers for Shumper. He's got 14 points, and he's hit the mark twice from three-point range as well. Well, it's no secret. I mean, the more points he can come up with from out there, the better off they'll be offensively with their spacing. The Spurs shooting at 51%. Really so. Parker and Danny Green are your one and your two. Diaw and Duncan at the four and the five. And it's Leonard in at the small forward. And that's who's in the game for the Spurs. Into Tim Duncan. And he gets it to go. Duncan's got the first. You know, I prefer the refs to whistle with a block when in doubt. I thought the ball was throw down. Look yes. at that athletic play. Incredible. Oh. I don't know that this is the time for that kind of flair. In a close game, the important. I'm with you, Kevin. You can't fault him for that. I mean, just let him go. Who cares? The Cavaliers shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. And the first one drops. Kyrie Irving, clearly a player who's dreamed of greatness from a very young age. Going back to the fourth grade, he wrote, I'm going to the NBA, and he wrote it across the back wall of his closet. And while it was hidden behind his clothes, it's a... Leonard on the wing, launches a three, and it's good in the assist by Parker. LeBron drives in. Good. LeBron's got four this quarter. Really? Air Freight is a nickname we could dub. LeBron James, I mean, he's an unstoppable force and an immovable object. Defensively, Parker kicks to Diaw, and it's good on the assist by Parker. Parker's got five assists in the game. A look at the NBA's three-point shooters in the point guard position here in the second half of the season. Kyrie Irving is second. Well, a lot of the point guards in the NBA don't get enough credit for how well they shoot the ball. So give this group their due. Some outstanding long-range shooters right there. No question about it, Steve. And being able to knock down the three ball as well as this group can makes them so much more effective at the point guard spot. It really causes problems for the defense. Here's Thompson. Irving. The kick out to LeBron. A three-pointer is right on target. Tucker outside. Into Tim Duncan. Shots good. Yeah, they're gonna need some help. Back to Irving. A three ball. Another three for Cleveland. They've gotten a bunch of good looks and have been absolutely leaping. 
Green passes to Duncan. This game going to take a big swing. Parker's Parker makes it off the glass. Parker's got four points in the quarter. They are not rotating nearly quickly enough on defense down low. Got to get quicker there. And even if it costs them some foul trouble, I mean, they need to start putting some bodies on bodies. Be physical. Here's Irving. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. You know, I wouldn't be surprised to see them double up here. I agree. They haven't been able to succeed with single coverage to this point. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for the Cavaliers. Under by Cleveland. Well, he hasn't had much success shooting the ball, but it's not too late for him to get it turned around and start contributing. That's the tenth defense is if they're going to allow inside looks as easy as that. Some big points there. I mean, they got them on a nice play to get the ball right in bucket of the night. I don't know what's happening to their defense. I mean, they, they don't have any effort, any purpose. And it's really adding muscle, cutting down on his body fat. Already one of the quickest players in the league. He got even quicker. He's starting to feel it. He's in a groove here in the second half. Irving is just a Mazda. And the Spurs pushing it up now. And the dunk to finish it off. A beauty. Textbook example there of how to use defense to create offense. Yeah, beautiful transition play after the steal all the way to the basket. Wasted no time going from defense. They get it back. Here's Mozgov. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Mock really developed as an outside shooter. And Leonard gets it to go. Well, this quarter passes to Mills. Tries again. And it's Evans laying it in. Now it's... Shoots over Leonard. With from out there, the better off they'll be offensively with their spacing. Two or other. Oscar, Wilkins, Elgin, and guys of that ilk. But I think it will be a long time before we see anybody fight for like him in five feet. Speed and speed. Well put. Such a careless pass. You've got to keep your head in the game here. Outside, green, and stolen by Love. And we've reached the end of the third. It's San Antonio leading by eight. And don't go away, we'll be back momentarily. Hello and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Drive by Shumper. That's good. Shumpert's got... This is DeShumpert. Irving powered down after the assist. Let him into the lane. Shot at the end of a game. And also, he's absolutely able to do some incredible things in the air. He can look like it. Parker kicks to Leonard. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. And now an eight-point Spurs lead at all. There's Green. Plenty of space. Danny Green, a nice find by the Spurs as a 3 and D role player. Spurs always seem to find those kind of guys. And mid-second round pick was green. He got waived by the Cavs, spent some time playing abroad. Now he holds the record. Star players at one end, knocking down big threes at the other. Wow, what a player he's become. And that one's good. The defenders, Irving. LeBron kicks to Irving. Shumper dishes to Love. Another three for Cleveland. Back-to-back -back threes for him. Kevin, Greg Popovich was just going over the plan with his team. He said, we are this close to finishing them off, but the job is not done yet, and I don't want to see any let-ups out there. We'll see how well his point got across, guys. The Dia. That's a two from Parker, and a little luck that time, but it drops. And the Spurs lead by eight. The drive by LeBron. A feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. LeBron's got 12 points in just the second half. Spurs leading by six. Now here's Parker. Back to Leonard. There's the bucket. Good. He'll buy eight. It's LeBron with the drive. And that one's good. LeBron. And here's the fast break. Love leading the way. And Shumpert slams it in. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steal. Better looks from that range. 
The drive by LeBron. Back to Shumpert. Fires for three. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. LeBron's got his fifth eye. He's guarded by Diaw. Here's Mozgov. And he uses both hands to jam it in. Boy, right down to the wire here, Clark and Steve. Still anyone's ball game. The kick out to Irving. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. That hey, watch him, watch him, watch him. Parker left side. And they can just two of seven shooting. Here's Shumper. You know, even from here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Yep, pretty obvious. And a good call by the official. That one is off. He hits the second from the line. He's made an effort to get into the defense a lot more. Ball's not loose. Stolen by Thompson. By himself. Slammed home and he draws the foul. A chance for another point at the free throw line. That one on Parker. Boy, their defense making an impact here late, Kevin. And straight off the steel card. The perfectly run fast break. Diaw kicks to Duncan. <laughs> Kept alive. And that one's good. So far, going for more of an inside game here in this second half. And I like that. It's key who they foul. Don't send an excellent free throw shooter to the line here. And the Cavaliers making a change here. Hubs checked in. Boy, it's a scary sight when Kawhi Leonard starts lighting it up like this. And so they foul intentionally. Smart foul there. You got to try to extend the game. Yeah, it's still close, but they're fighting that clock as much as the score right now. He's off on the free throw, unable to get that second one to drop in. Green with the ball. Parker outside. Oh, he couldn't make that shot go to force overtime. So it's a narrow win for the Cavaliers pulling it out. Clark, it was anybody's game right to the very end. Yeah, it was. The coach is happy with the outcome. This team kept their emotions in check and got it done. And that'll do it for Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris Burke. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. And now we present the Jordan Player of the Game, Kyrie Irving.